Lindsay and I am a tarot reader and I also do something called remote viewing. And so this is a little bit of an introductory video to talk a little bit about my work and about this channel. So I decided to do this channel. I began doing uh, readings on the uh, Trump administration approximately two years ago when it first, uh, first came in. And uh, I began posting videos for friends of mine uh, based on the Tarot and based on remote viewings that I, w that I was doing on the administration. And then I decided to do a channel uh, just based on the remote viewings. I do offer Tarot readings uh, through my uh, offices here in Los Angeles, but I also do f phone consultations and Skype, so I will link that information below if anybody wants to have a reading. Um, but basically, I, uh, I started being a reader about 20 years ago. I worked in several different uh, shops in Seattle, Washington, uh, and I uh, had a lot of fun. Worked my way through college, actually, as a reader. Uh, then I gave it up and uh, recently got back to it, and uh, I, I've enjoyed uh, uh, being a reader. Being a remote viewer is something that I... I enjoy very much. Uh, remote viewing is actually a pretty complicated skill. Everybody remote views entirely different, but I want to talk a little bit about the technique I use when I do a remote viewing. A remote viewing is a type of meditation that's been used in various different cultures all over the world, um, from the Native American traditions uh, all the way to parts of Asia, uh, Tibet, etc. In order to remote view, the first thing I do is I put myself into a very, very relaxed state or a meditative state. That's the first phase of doing a remote viewing. And then when you get into a very, very relaxed state, you then focus on what's called, well, well I do something called a Kuan Yin meditation where uh, you open your heart and you try to feel empathy or compassion towards the person you're attempting to uh, feel or sense. And you go on a journey inside your own mind. The, the state you get into when you meditate is very close to a sleep state. You, you're almost asleep. You have to become very, very relaxed when you're a remote viewer. And you also have to open your heart. I've seen all kinds of remote viewers and everyone's technique is different. I can tell you that without empathy and, and uh, compassion uh, towards others, I personally don't think that you're gonna be effective as a remote viewer because as soon as you start to feel anger and hostility during a remote viewing, you then begin to project your own bias onto the subject. When the truth of the matter is, the best remote viewings give you the, the best remote viewings are when you feel love and compassion and an open heart and try to put yourself into the shoes of the person that you are attempting to remote view. How I remote view is that I literally uh, try to put myself in the energy and the feeling or the perspective of the person that I'm looking at. Now. Am I wrong? Yes. Sometimes you make mistakes, sometimes you err, and you have to be willing to admit that. If you're an honest tarot reader, if you're an ethical person, uh, you have to tell people the truth, the, how you feel it. You have to be able to feel or empathize with the person that's coming to see you. And if you're a remote viewer, you need to empathize and feel compassion for the person who you're trying to uh, sense or pick up information about. There are also limits to being a remote viewer that I think are a little bit sometimes unexplainable. For example, uh, say you do a remote viewing and you try to astrally project or sense or, or travel to a particular area. This is something that remote viewers do. Uh, this has been tested. An example of testing a remote viewer would be that they decide to hide a stash of something and in a particular location, and then they show the remote viewer the location, and then our job as the remote viewer is to try and feel or sense where that thing is. So if you're an empath, you're gonna be able to feel or sense where that thing is. And then you have to say, well, I'm feeling pulled in this area. That's a technique that remote viewers do. But again, 
You have to be mindful of your own bias and you have to be honest when you say, I'm getting mixed feelings or I'm sensing uh, more than one bit of information. Uh, the best thing that I can say about being a Tarot reader and being a remote viewer is that without compassion, uh, you won't be able to do your job. In terms of limitations of remote viewing, the most uh, interesting and frustrating remote viewing I ever did is trying to get to the White House. <laughs> I did try to get to the White House uh, and every time I'm in a remote viewing state, uh, I always land on the lawn, the front of the White House. Um, and uh, I can get to the Rose Garden. Uh, I can walk around and I get to the Rose Garden. I can get to the back where the cars are parked. I can get underneath the White House. Uh, I can get to the lower, there's an archive by the way, I've been to the archive. Uh, there's a lot of dust, it's filthy, they need to clean it by the way, but they don't care because nobody goes down there and nobody can see it. But uh, I, I've seen that but I can't get past the archives. I can't get out of that area. So that would be an example of limitations of a remote viewer where sometimes I can't get in. I don't know why I can't get in. Maybe it's my own guilt, like should I be here? Who knows, but sometimes there are just areas that I can't get in. I've tried to get up to the West Wing. I've tried to float around uh, in the West Ring. I think I may have gotten into the closet with the exits that they have, but I'm not so sure because uh, it's a little weird over there on the West Wing. Um, I can see where the, I was able to get into the east and the uh, area. Uh, there's a, a, it looks like it's a, a ground floor area. There's a closed off area where the uh, press is allowed to work. I've been to that area. so. That's an example of limitations. So hopefully you'll enjoy this uh, channel. If you wanna make an appointment and come see me, like I said, my information is below. Uh, my name is Whimsy and uh, thanks, for, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully we'll have some fun. Take care, bye.